Yeah, you could go ahead. Yeah. Hi, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, Lyndon, are you still there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Um, is it possible, like last week um, on Amping Monday, sorry, remember how you um, brought up the screen for me? Is that possible for you to do that today? Sure. Let me log out and log back in now because I'm using another laptop. Sure. No problem. Guys, I want to look at um, two um, worksheets that we had from last day. There's one on meetings and there's one on hospitality. I know that we started. Right, you could go ahead. Okay. Okay, guys, so we are looking at our meetings um, worksheet, right? It's up on the screen here, and, so, and, and all of you are supposed to have it from since last week, Wednesday, and you were supposed to complete it for this class today, right? So I'm going to trust that everybody did their, did their homework, right? Yeah? I am going to ask the questions, and I'm going to choose a member from any group to answer the, um, to answer the questions, okay? So we are looking at four items of business that usually appear on an agenda. All right, this was actually covered in two different topics. We would have done this in the meetings um, chapter and we also would have done this in our communication chapter earlier on last term as well. So you could take the answer from either or places. So let me call on somebody to answer this first question here. Zeshawn, are you there? Zeshawn? Hello? Alicia, would you would you be able to answer that, that on the question for me? Four items that is found on an agenda. Sure, Miss, but I don't have my um my answers with me right now. But if you want, I can look at the book. Sure, if you want, just go quickly and you can just give us give us the answer for what is found on an agenda. And in, my, in the meanwhile, the rest of you should have your answer prepared. Which page is that found on? Well, you could, like I said, you could either get it from in the meeting chapter or that would also come from in your communication chapter from last term. Okay. So just consult your um, table of contents. Is there anybody else who wants to help her out on the group who has the answer in front of them? She doesn't have her book with, with her. Does anybody yeah, want to answer that first part of that of that question? Stay for items of business that usually appears on an agenda. Miss, I'm not too sure if I'm correct, but um, sure, is it matters arising and the mm -hmm. date of the next meeting and the minutes from previous meeting? I have the correct thing or that's the... That's all, of that, um, all of that is correct, yes. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. So there's actually quite a few responses that you guys can have. Some of them would be what um, Marina has just told us there. So some of the items, so you all can take it down, those of you who haven't gotten the chance to, to look at the papers yet. The answers for, the, for that first part, any four items would be apologies for absence. Minutes of the last meeting, matters arising, any other business, date, time, and place of the next meeting. For further um, review, you guys can check on page number 
43 of your textbook. Page what? Page number 43 of your textbook. 43. Mm -hmm. We would have done it in communication last time when we did written communication and we would have touched on agendas. You will also get it in your meetings chapter on page 167. If you look at page 167, so the answers will, will come from both um, chapters because they both dealt with the same topic agenda. So on page 167, number two, you will see sample agenda and there are nine pointers there. What remains standard will be the first three and the last two. Did you all find it? Yeah, I have the answers. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, everybody else found it? Can you all just show me? Um, if you, if uh, you, you all could just raise your hand, I would be able to know if you all are there with me. Yeah, Miss, I found it. Yeah. Yeah, Alicia, see you, Chavin. Any, anybody, everybody else found it? Please check on page 167 or page 42. Your answer would be the first three and the last two items of the agenda would be the answer. Okay, great. I saw more people coming on. People whose hands, some of you don't have your hands up. Is it that you all are not finding the answer? Can I get some kind of feedback so I would know what is happening? Because I'm seeing a, a, a few of us with our hands up and some of you I'm not seeing anything at all. Um, how old do you raise your hand? How do you raise your hand? Um, there's, a, there's an option called more on the main screen and there is an option called raise hand. Yeah, I've got it. Yeah. I'm talking to my students right now. Okay, great. So most of us found, uh, found the answer. For those of us who are still searching, you can just write down the page number where the answer is coming from. And after the class, you all can simply write up your answer. So that first part of the question will come from either page number 42 or page 167. Yeah, are we okay with that? Yeah, miss. Great. Let's move on to B of the question. B of the question says, to list three legal requirements of the annual general meeting of an organization. Firstly, let me throw out a question to you guys. What is an annual general meeting? This is um, special meetings which take place once a year. Very good. Because annual, would, take place annually. Once very a year. good. The, right, so the word annual gives it, gives it away. The word annual means yearly. So it's a special meeting which is only held once per year to discuss basically financial results of a company. Are we okay with that? Yeah. The question now is three legal yeah. requirements. Yeah, the question now is three legal requirements of the annual general meeting of an organization, right? Legal requirements. Who can give me the answer to 4B? Let me call on somebody to answer again. Please start prepping because I could call anybody at any time. In fact, I think we did something similar. One of these questions would have been similar last week where we did the legal requirements last day. Jaden, would you be able to answer that question for me?
Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell me what is the answer for that? What are the three legal requirements of the AGM of an organization? What is the answer? Um, the annual financial report. Okay, well, remember that's what the meeting is going to be based on, right? But the question is really, what are the legal requirements? There are three legal requirements of the AGM. What are those three legal requirements? Um. I think we would have touched on, touched on this last week as well. It would have been in one of the previous questions. It's something that we probably have written in our books already. Um, three legal requirements are the business name and address, a list of the members of the business. These are people who have a stake in the business, that is the shareholders, and the third one is by laws of the company, that is further details that say the rules and regulations for the company will be managed by laws, can be amended at any time, and by the board of directors. Okay, what you gave me there was the information for setting up a company, but that's not the legal requirement for the AGM. All those points are correct, but they are correct for when you Let's are setting up a ahead. company. Huh? Um, is who has the right to vote at a meeting? Right. The that is what accessibility the right requirements at the venue. Yes. For example, the disabled members of the company and the term. answer would be one who has the right to vote at the meeting your second answer the dumping accessibility requirements at the venue. third answer you must give a period of a notification where i mean members telling Tell a member, sorry, where the, where, uh, where the meeting has to take place. Example, you have to tell them at least three months in advance before the advance. meeting is convened. Exactly. Right? For those of you who are probably still searching for where that answer is, um, let's take a look on your textbook. Let's just take a look at page 170. Those of us who are looking to... Yeah, let's look on page 170. Let me ask you all a question. The second point there was who has the right to vote, right? If somebody cannot come in to vote personally, there is a term that is used when they send someone on their behalf. What is that term? Proxy. There is a, very good. Very good, Javon. So that is called a proxy. So if a person cannot come in person to vote, they can send someone on their behalf and that is called proxy. Very good. Are you all seeing the answer at the bottom of page 170? You'll get those three answers there. Yeah, miss. Yeah. So please take note of the page number where the answer is coming from so you can write up the answers later on. Okay. Yeah. Let us move on to C of the question. You are responsible for, for performing some of the follow-up activities after the sales team has completed its quarterly meeting. It's a, it tells you to copy the, the, the table into your book and complete the answer. So there are three activities. And there are two columns, action required to complete tasks and resources needed. Are you seeing that? Yes. Okay.
So let's take a look at it. No, to, no, in this to-do list, it said action required. Action, that word tells you it is singular. Action, therefore, under each one of these um, columns, you have to put down at least one answer, right? You don't have to put more than one, one answer will be correct. Understood? Yeah. yeah? Okay. Yeah. So ensure that yeah. the meeting is restored. Give you one answer that is required to complete this task. Ensure that the meeting room is restored. How would you make sure that that happened? Let me give you all a, a hint. Let's look on page 165. Remember, there's a whole page for the Ampen guidelines for meetings. Let's take a look on page 165 on your textbook. Yeah, I got it. Got it? Mm -hmm. All right. Ensure that the meeting room is restored. Exactly at which point would this happen? Would it happen in activities? Would it happen in the, the meeting day, during the meeting, or after the meeting? Which one of these answers would be correct there? After the meeting. After, after the, meeting. the meeting. Very good. So the answer is after the meeting. So ensure that the meeting room is restored. The action there would be what? After the meeting? Yeah, after, after the, meeting. the meeting. Remember that the meeting room could just be could just be a room, right? And but re remember we were talking last day, depending on the size of the meeting, you may need to bring in special equipment, like what microphone, we spoke about projectors, laptops, and so on. Not so on? Yeah? Yeah. So if you, yeah. so if you bring all this into the room, what action should be required? If we have to bring in all, all, all of these um, equipment. You put everything back into its respective place. You put That's back right. like chairs That's and that kind of thing where it was before. Right. Very good, yeah, very good. So ensure that the meeting room is restored. What we need to do, we need to check the meeting room and ensure that what? All the equipment goes back to its original location. Right, so you could probably jot down that point. Yeah. Yeah. Ensure the room is restored in its original condition. Original condition, yeah, very good. That is, that is also correct. Alicia, are you okay? I'm seeing your hands up and then Galaxy A7. I'm seeing both hands up there. Are you guys okay? Yes, miss. That was a mistake. Sorry. And I don't know who's Galaxy A7 2018. Your hand is also up in the chat as well. Moving on. Resources needed. So if you need to put back everything in its physical, original place, what, what would be the resources needed, needed there? Come on. Very good. So remember in one of the chapters where we did, um, we did, we said that human resources are referred to as the people in the company. Yeah? Yeah. So the resources needed for A, very good. So the, so the resources needed for A would be human resources or people. Right? Because you, you would need people to put everything back in its original place. You would also need your cleaning staff to something restore the room as well. So you need people from any company to, to put everything back in its original place. And you would also need your cleaning staff to restore the room. And that's the answer for the first one.
That's page 161, right? Um, I'm looking at page 165, actually. 165. Yeah. Got it. Got it, yeah. The table. Before the, the table, that's right. My book on our own side, so I looked in for that page. So I got to I just, I, I, I can use the laptop, so I can find it easier, right? Okay, let's type. Sure, no problem. No problem. Go ahead. All right, so we are moving on to B, so we are done with A. Is everybody clear on the answer for A? Everybody understands what they have to write under each each of the area there? Yeah, miss. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay, we are moving on to B. B says, filing of minutes in chronological order. Filing of minutes in chronological order. So I'm going to ask you, what is the meaning of the word chronological? Anybody? Chronological is of... It's where something has to be in a specific order. Order. Yeah, right? So chronological order meaning something that has to be in, in, in a specific order, right? Good. Let's talk about minutes. What is what is that? That's the time spent to file it. No. That's the time spent during the meeting, miss. That's the right. Time recorded so, during the meeting. Very good. Yes. So the minutes, so the minutes is what have what takes place during the meeting, right? And who usually takes it? Secretary. The secretary. The secretary. Very good. That's right. So the secretary is the one who is in charge of taking the minutes and is also the person who is responsible for writing up the minutes as well. Very good. An example of a minute, you all can find it on page 169. An example of your minutes can be found on page 169. Six nine. Mm -hmm. One six nine. You'll see an example of what a minute looks like there. Yeah, I saw it. Mm -hmm. And if you look right above, if you look right above the example that the booklet has there on page one sixty nine, if you look right above that, you would see a subheading there called filing and indexing minutes. Are you all seeing that? Yes, ma'am. And it, and it tells you there that the, that the minutes has to be in a separate file and it has to be stored in chronological order, which means it could be filed according to maybe to something, maybe months. It could even be filed according to dates. Yeah? So the secretary will have to determine how, how I mean, they are going to file it away. So they need to come up with their, with their own system, right? So, mm -hmm. filing of minutes in chronological order. Give me one action required. One action required to complete the task. Filing of minutes. Remember, the person already take it, right? Because this question is asking for filing of minutes. What should the person do if they have to file it away in chronological order? Keep it in a separate file. Where? How? But, but how are they going to file it? I just gave you the answer. Chronological means it has to be in a certain order. And yeah. I'm telling you that, that they, can, they can either file it, depending on how often they have meetings, they can either file it according to months or they can file it according to date in a, in a particular order, right? Mm. 
Yeah. So what action is required to complete the task? Separate. The person already has it. The person has to file it away. How would they file it in chronological order? I just gave you the answer. Yeah. What is the Separate. answer? Separate, you know? How? According to what? According yes. to? Very good. So one of the answers there could be according to the Very good. So a possible answer for filing of the minutes in chronological order, one of the possible answers there for action required to complete the task, the answer there could be place in a file by order of date. Right? Place in a file by order of date. Mm -hmm. Place in a file by order of date. What resources is needed now to do that action? We can store information in two ways. What are the two ways? Indexing. I had an ice cream truck and somebody locked them. I know, right? <laughs> um, what are two ways? Listen carefully. Common sense question. You don't have to think about the chapter. Common sense question. Something that we, we have we have spoken about before. What are two ways that information can be stored? Miss hard copy or soft copy. Very good. That's it. Simple like that. There are two ways information can be stored. Information can I I see that. I see that. I'm the mic was muted. <laughs> so there are two ways. Either hard copy or soft copy. So what resources is needed? For example, if the secretary is going to store that information on hard copy, what are some resources they will they will need? Tell me. They may need things like what? Paper. Paper, um, folders, labels, tags, right? All these things, right? Mm -hmm. And if they are going to do it on soft copy and store it on the computer, what are they going to need? A flash drive. Okay, you might need a flash drive. What else? Printer. Remember? Huh? Microsoft Office. They might need Microsoft Office Word mm -hmm. if they are typing it up again, and, and, and then they would have to save it in a specific location and then probably have individual folders according to date, not so? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, the, so, so this could either be done on hard copy or soft copy. You can use either or. Whichever one you are using, you just have to put down what resources is needed. Right for hard copy, you would you would, you would, you would also need a physical space to store it. So you'd even need a filing cabinet, perhaps. Right, so you can write up the answers there for resource needed. You could use either or. You don't have to use both. Circulation of minutes and action sheets to members of the sales team. What action is needed for that? You have to circulate the minutes and action sheets to members of the sales team. Circulation of minutes means what to you guys? What do you think those are the words mean? Circulation of a minutes. I give a certain amount of time. So no, no. Circulation means extract means any what? points. So circulation would mean a document that is I mean, going going around, right? So circulation of minutes means if there were ten people at that meeting, those ten people have to also see those see those I mean, minutes, right? Mm -hmm. Understood? Mm -hmm. So okay. circulation of minutes simply means pass around the minutes to how much ever people attended the meeting. Are we okay with that? 
Yeah. Okay. And what is an action sheet? And what is an action sheet? An action sheet lets each person know exactly what they have to do according to their to their minutes. Do you understand that? Yeah. 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 So the circulation of the minutes is the minutes that actually go, go I mean, around to each person. They have to verify that that minutes is really true and correct to what they said in that meeting. And then the action sheet simply has what task each person agreed to do in that in that meeting. Understood? Mm -hmm. So if I want, so if you have to circulate the minutes and you have to circulate the action sheet, what what and the action would you have to do? You would firstly have to obtain the minutes and also obtain the action sheet. So that's the answer there. Obtain minutes and, ob and obtain action sheets. So that is what would go in this second column. Obtain minutes and obtain action sheets. Are we okay with that? Yeah, ma'am. And we're going to look at the other column now, which is resources needed. So even if you person, so let's just say that the secretary even does this in Microsoft Word. What resources would the secretary need in order to circulate the minutes and the action sheet? If I have a file on Microsoft Word and I want to send it out to you guys, what would be the most, the most something obvious things? What would be the email. easiest way for you all to get it? Email. Very good. Who said that? Shavin, you? Yes. Good. Very good. So if they were using the minutes and the action sheet on soft copy, the secretary could simply email it using everyone's email addresses, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah? And if the secretary choose to send it out on paper, she will need her computer, she will need a printer, and she may even need a photocopier if she's making multiple copies of the document, right? So computer, mm -hmm. printer, and photocopier could also be possible answers there. So either or could be the answer, depending on if you're using soft copy or hard, hard copy sheets. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go down to the other part of the question. It says, state two possible consequences of the sales team failure to take the follow-up action suggested at a previous meeting. So remember, when the minutes go out and the action sheet goes out, you are letting people know that they have to follow up on, on certain things that they, that they said they would, they would only do, right? Okay. So the, so the question now is, state two possible consequences if the sales team fails to follow up on what they suggested. So if we have a meeting today, and let's say that Javon promises to do X and Marina promises to do Y, and by the next meeting is called, and they both do not perform X and Y, what could be the consequence of that? They did not perform the desired action. What is the consequence of that? If you work in a company, let's just think about it generally. You're getting if trouble. you're working in a company and your boss, right, and your boss gives you something to do and you do not do what is what is asked, right? What are some consequences that can happen happen there? You're getting trouble or suspended. Well, not only really suspended. Not so drastic, but one, members can be disciplined. 
Mm-hmm. Right, I think I'm, I'm just I'm just leaving you all for one minute. I'm coming back now. Right, so members can be disciplined. Oh, okay, guys, I'm back with you. Okay, so like we said, one of the possible answer would be members can be disciplined. That's one answer. Another possible answer, something we discussed. No, move away from that Uh point now. Secondly, we said what? When people join an organization, they work together. What? Come on, what? Begins with a G. We all work together to create a common begins with a G. Goal. Goal. Very good. That's right. Yeah. Right? Remember, remember the aim of any company is us working together to what? Achieve a common goal. Right? Therefore, if these members did not follow up on what they were supposed to do, then what? The meeting goal will not be achieved not so mm-hmm. agreed yeah. yeah yes ma'am. yeah 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 yeah, yeah. kind of like yeah you know kind of like if i you know give you homework and you don't do the homework then what the the and the aims of it is not achieved right yeah yeah <laughs> good so yes so yes second answer there could be meeting goals will not be achieved right so your two answers there i'm just going to re- uh tell you that again your two answers one members can be can be disciplined and two meeting goals will not be achieved so that's the two possible answers there Okay, so let's look at the other questions. Is, can anybody go scroll down?
anybody try and ask and see if they can scroll down? I can't, I don't have any answers, understand. Scroll down. Sure, see if anybody has access, I don't. This is Linda, we'll have the access to it. Have it? No, Miss Linda, we'll have it. No, last day, students were able to control it in my MP Monday class, even though he had access. So I don't know if anybody could get access on their machine. I have my paper book. Does everybody have access to look at that on the, um, on the, on the group, at least? Miss, where's that talking about? Hello? Is that the worksheet? Yeah, yeah, the worksheet. The same one we were doing in class last week. Same kind of Just now, let me get it. It's also on the group. Remember, it's also on the group chat as well. You all can go there and get the soft copy. I don't know what WhatsApp group. I don't know okay. why. Okay. But I think you have a paper copy. I think everybody who was there last day, they would have received a paper copy. I have all the questions. I have all. Yeah, miss. So I have the worksheet here. Yeah. Which question are you looking at, miss? Which one you want? We're looking at the second question, the one that says, um, state one follow-up action of a meeting that should be performed by the chairperson. Right. State one follow-up activity right. of a meeting that should be performed by the chair person. Chair person. Mm -hmm. um. So, Ivana, did you, did you do that question? State one follow-up activity of the meeting that should be performed by the chairman. Is Bala in here? No, it did not yesterday. Let's get the answer to the question. What's that? Hmm? Anything using here. I certainly have one answer for that question. I have sent um sent copies of the minutes to every group member. Anybody has um, anything else? You don't need any other paper. It's the same paper we use. Savannah, what is your answer again? Set up what? Minutes to everyone um, that was there. Who was there at the meeting? Yeah. Yeah. So one of the possible tasks there could be quickly send out clear and concise meeting notes from the, from the meeting, right? So quickly send out clear and concise meeting notes from the meeting. Monday had a class. Monday had no sectors. Not a period. I hear a second or something. What else? Dominic, I can barely hear what you're saying. Yes, I'm done. Could we send no clear and concise notes from the meeting? Yes. Right, quickly send out clear and concise notes from the meeting. I should ask Mr. scroll down the screen. Or you could ask him to get somebody access on the group so that we could use it. Yeah. Who has it? Who has it on you? I can ask him. 
Is that you? No, I I just couldn't know. Who has access to it? Right that, that is me. Um. Oh, that's you. Oh, okay, okay. I could give it to um Jaden. I mean um. Yeah. Nathaniel. Yeah. yeah. Can one. you please? Yeah. Just give it to Nathaniel so we can use it. Thanks. Nathaniel, you could go ahead from there. Yeah. All right. I can't scroll down. Okay. I'm seeing the I'm seeing the point. I'm moving though. Is that you? It can't it's lag. You do. Maybe if you click on the document, you could probably try using the arrow keys and see if that works any any better. You see arrow keys on the, on the keyboard, perhaps. Okay. Yeah, I could know, but it's yeah. very, very small. Okay, no, no problem. I'm not some access there. You know what? I'm just going to look. Quick, 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 quick. Zoom. Okay, let's look at the second one, guys. There are three reasons. Yeah, there are three reasons for sending copies of minutes of the previous meeting to members ahead of the next meeting day. What would be the purpose of sending the minutes ahead of the next meeting? What, what do you all think? Any possible answers? Think off the top of your head. Three reasons for sending copies of the minutes of the minutes of the previous meeting to members ahead of the next meeting. Anybody? Mm -hmm. Why would you send? Why would you send it ahead of time? The minutes ahead of time. Why do you think? What does the minutes have on it? We just discussed this. What does what does the actual minutes have on it? Let's take a look on page one six nine. Are we there, everybody? Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. If you look yeah. at that example, what exactly is the minutes telling you there? It's telling you members who are present, members who are absent. It's telling you what else? It's, 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 you it's did? basically giving you a detail. Exactly. It's giving you a detail of what was said in the last meeting. Not so? Yeah. Yeah? So what re so what reason would we have for sending the minutes ahead of time to other other people? Yeah, they'll give our insight as to as to um what has took place in the last meeting. For future reference. Good. So one, good. So one possible answer. So one of your answers there could be, it is it what it is a refresher. It is it will it will give you details of what was said in the last meeting. Understood? So it gives details of what was said in the last meeting. That is one answer. Right. It gives you the details of what was said in the last meeting. Second, uh, sec second point. What up? What other reason should we could we have for sending out the minutes of the last meeting? Another point to be: everybody will be fully aware 
of what work is required by whom, right? It lets you know what work is required by whom. So for example, if um, Javon says he, he is, he is and they're going to do X, he has to ensure X is done by the last, by, by, um, by the next meeting, not so? If um, Marina said she wants to do Y, she has to make sure that is done at the next meeting. So another possible reason why you would send out the minutes would be not just as um, a refresher, which we said in point one, another point would be that each person can now follow up and ensure that they perform the desired action by the next meeting. Right, so each person who has a task to complete can ensure that the task is completed by the next meeting day. Right. Another reason, another reason for sending the minutes of a previous meeting would be what else? Anybody? An answer. We already came up with one point. It, re, it, it is a reminder of what was said in the last meeting. The second answer we came up with just now is that what people who have tasks to get done, would it would be a reminder to them to make sure and get the task done ahead of time. And what else? guys anything else Sarvana did you come up with put any any points there Sarvana any points Because you're breaking up. You're not hearing? No, miss. I was I wasn't hearing because my Wi Fi was giving trouble. Oh, okay. So we came we're looking at the B part of the question that you're looking at on your on your screen right now. The reasons for sending out um the minutes ahead of the meeting day. Did you come up with any, any answers for that? The persons wouldn't be confused if they were absent. That is another good good point, right? So for those who are probably absent, it also serves as a, uh, a reminder of what was said. Yeah, so let's quickly recap those um, three answers, right? So so one of the reasons for sending out the minutes ahead of time, one of it is to show the decisions that were that were probably made by people who participated in the meeting. So if certain people have to get certain tasks done, the 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 minute tells them or or it will um let them know exactly what they have to get done by, by the next then day. The second point is that those who are absent would be, would, would I mean now know exactly what was said in the meeting. Yeah? And because everybody knows who has to do what task, 
those persons now have to ensure that they follow up and get their tasks done in, in a timely manner. Are we okay with that, everybody? Yes, miss. Can I see your hands? Let me just go back. Can I see, Can I see a show of hands? Yeah, ma'am. Yes, I'm seeing some hands going up. There's Paige, right? Or the other, or the one above. Paige, I get working on the keyboard. I get the um, screen working oh. on the keyboard. Great, yeah. The keyboard should be more effective. Mm. The screen, yeah. right? Or the, or the one above? Just so. Okay, oh, so yeah, we are. Yeah, that, that question right there. Okay. No, not there. Above. 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 Yeah, that one there. Yeah, perfect. Miss, and we finish this? <laughs> We're finishing, finishing it. We're just wrapping up the last question there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the next part. List three items of business that may be included on the agenda of a meeting. What are three items that can be included in the agenda of a meeting? Let me hear you guys. Three items of business that may be included on the agenda of a meeting. Time. What about time? Give me a full answer. The time that meeting with. So the so it could have the time, the the date and time of the next meeting. So that is one possible answer. Yes. Date and time of the next meeting. That's one answer. What else is found on the agenda that is standard? Documentation of the minutes. So, we, right, we must read the minutes from the, the previous meeting. So, reading of the minutes from the previous meeting is another point yes reading of minutes of the previous meeting that's your second point what else one more matters arising matters arising very good right we could have matters arising or we could even have apologies for absence thank you for everybody who just chimed in to, to um answer this question So this will take care of our meeting um, to complete this meeting to, um, worksheet. The other worksheet that we have to look at now is the um, John 2012. There's a hospitality worksheet that we have. John 2012. Right? But before um, Nathaniel, so we're moving away from this worksheet. Um, there's a tab opened before this one called Reception and Hospitality. Can you see it? Yeah, that one. Perfect. Can you just zoom the screen a little bit to make it a little bit bigger for us? Do you have access to all that? Yeah, yep. Very good. Everybody can see that? Well, perfect, very good, I love it there. Keep it there, right there, good. Right, so can you all see the worksheet right now, everybody? Yeah, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Very good, good. So this is your hospitality worksheet. This is another worksheet that you guys had for homework today. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pause for 15 minutes. I want you all to get yourself organized, get the answers for this um, part of the worksheet for me, please. So I'm going to pause. I want you all to please, those of you who didn't get a chance to look at it, please, I want you to attempt these questions now for me because when I'm asking the questions, I need you all to, to um, 
participate a little bit more because you will have these questions ahead of time, okay? Yeah. Miss, Miss yeah. Uh, book. So I'm going to give you 15 minutes to organize yourself. Miss, yeah. it's, not a, it's not a break time. I'm just giving you 15 minutes. Okay, not pencil. <laughs> Right, so please take up your book, look at the worksheet, and I want you to start working out the answers here for me. Miss, hold on, wait. And I'm, going to, and I'm going to stop you in between, um, and we are going to start correcting. I'm remaining with you guys here. It's not a break time. You're not going anywhere as yet. Miss, um, for the first one, right? When mm -hmm. they mean, like, two sources, right? They mean, like, like, the... Thing yeah, or, that's uh, it. Yeah, like two, two of sources of reference materials would, would be two out. different types. It would mean no. It's it's good there. It's two different types of reference materials which may be used by the receptionist. Okay, two so not the thing inside material. of the thing, right? Just the thing. What's that? So not like the thing inside of the thing. That's the thing itself. Not the thing inside the thing? Okay, no, yeah, just the thing, I guess. <laughs> right, we did we did a we did a chapter on reference materials. See if you all can find it for me and see what two what two pieces of reference materials you think that the receptionists would use. Let's see who can get that answer first. Whoever can get that answer first. No, but okay, well well then not you, not you, not you then. <laughs> Not you. I'm I'm already buying you something something special, you know. But I mean, the rest of us couldn't tackle the answers yet. I want them to take a chance and get the answer, and I'm gonna call on someone to answer this first part for me. Two sources of reference materials which may be used by a receptionist. Buying something special. Yes, yes, and I can't tell you what it is, but when we Come back out, yo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Miss so we have, we have away. Miss hmm? like Bash, something special. We have Bash, something special. Because she did the answer ahead of every everybody else. But I know how well. I get some something, and you're not getting nothing. Okay. 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 So let's see who can get the answer first. I see Dominic has her hand up. Dominic, are you ready to answer the question? Two references of maybe he's got a reception as well as Is Dominic there? Dominic, can you answer the question? I see she has her hand her hand up. Let's give us five of them. What's the answer for that first one? Let me hear. What reference material can the receptionist use here? In the office? I was gonna say indexes and some or something about now. Nah, that's definitely nothing. I'm glad that you're trying, but no, that's I know not. that I don't, I don't want to change my mind. <laughs> let's 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 try again. I just gave you all a hint. I just told you that we did reference materials in one of the previous I chapters. Suck. See who can find see who can find the answer first. Besides Sarvana. And besides Marina and uh, um Javon. Besides these three people, who else can find the answer? And I reception as a person, I just greet the use of some matter for people and things like that. Yes. Okay, well, that one. Okay, you, well, need, you, need you need to start reading your chapter, chapter, okay? You need to start yeah. reading your chapter, chapter, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm seeing everybody else who's online. I'm going to call you to answer. Prepare the answer for me for reference materials. We would have done that. I'm going to give you another clue. We would have done that in communication chapter. Communication? Well, that's just not the way. <laughs> Let's take a look at page number 59.
，没事，还是什么吗？ Did anybody find it yet on page number fifty nine? Tango rap on the dictionary is more than put on nothing else. So. Okay.、Um, so one. So one possible answer Nathaniel said is what a dictionary. Dictionary. Yeah. Okay. Who else wants to give a second one? So he has one a dictionary. What could be what What could be another re reference material that can be used in an office? Timetables. I said besides Nathaniel. Internet. Um.、Uh, the internet. Shavin. Shavin. Very good. So. I, So one possible answer is a dictionary, and Shavin gave another answer. And his answer was the internet. Other possible other possible answers could be things like a telephone directory. That could be another possible answer. Telephone directory. Maps and addresses. I know. I need to schedule timetable. A Oh, right. So remember, we are right. So also out of that, we 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 chose、uh, about three answers. So we said dictionary. We said the internet. Um, search engines can also be one as well, and a、mm -hmm. telephone directory. So let's move on. You all have the answers for that one, everybody. Yeah. Yes. 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 Good. Good. All right, we are looking at the May twenty fourteen. We are going down. State the meaning and function of a tickler reminder system. State the meaning and function of a tickler reminder system. There is a section in、uh, reception and hospitality. There is a section on page one hundred and fifty-three that tells us about a tickler system. Take a look on page one five three. And it can also be found. Take down these two pages for me. Page one five three and page one two seven. I have、mm -hmm. that the tickler system is a chronological system. Every muscle system. And for it is it's used um to flag an event on the day. Very good, right? So I want so I want everybody to take down this 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 on the answer for me. Sarvana, go back start from beginning for me. Okay, the tickler system is a chronological system. The function of it is to flag an event. Very good. So the tickler system is 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 a chronological system. Remember, we were talking about chronological meaning. It's it's um in a certain order. So, for example, it could be by month, it could be by date, it could be by subject, right? So your tickler system it is something that is filed in chronological order, and the function of it is to let you flag or know when something is due. Or close to being due. I have one more. I have one more answer. I was thinking about for the duty for receptionist. Okay, but we're not even there yet, right? We're not even looking at that part of the question yet. No, I'm just doing、right? it now. So like. Oh great,、finished. great, great. But、uh, do you have the answer for the A part, though? You're okay with the A part? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, good. So we're so we're looking now at the B part of the question, right? To list the duties that a receptionist is required to perform on a daily basis. I'm going to give you all two minutes for those of you who didn't do it as yet. Please locate the answer for me for the receptionist for the duties of the receptionist, and you all should be looking at our reception of charity chapter to give me the answer.
Miss Akai nak cuci tak cek ni bekal ber. Oh, but I told you all to do that. Though. <laughs> yeah, so it's not really cheating. If I if I tell it, go ahead and do it. Miss, I can answer that. Anybody no. else wants to? Okay then. <laughs> Does anybody? Okay, Nathaniel, do you want to give me one answer that you have so far? Yes. Security and telecommunication system. I ask you where you got that book. <laughs> uh -huh. What page are you on? In the book, but I kinda. With telecommunication system thing, I just kind of just. Let me go back on the book. On my phone. So, Ravana, help him out. What are the duties of the receptionist? Receiving letters and parcels and maintaining the reception room. Not the tool. Sorry. So Some one maintain one one maintaining the reception register. Two receiving um letters and parcels. Very good. So that's two. What else? Uh, How about how about dealing with visitors? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Right. <laughs> dealing with visitors. Managing appointments, all those things, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, is everybody okay with that, with that answer then? Supply management is one. What's that? Supply management is one. No. Supply <laughs> Stupid. Remember when you are given answers, make sure you will give complete answers, right? Operating yeah. a switchboard, all these things would fall under the duties of the receptionist. Managing, remember, no. managing and maintaining the reception area. Because remember, we discussed that the reception area should always be clean and tidy, mm -hmm. right? Right? So another duty of the receptionist there is to maintain and manage the reception area. Filing of business cards. Receiving letters and parcels, maintaining the reception register, as said previously, introducing visitors, dealing with visitors, all of those are possible answers. And all the question I asked you for, I think, was just three duties, right? Yeah. That's right. So we more than co so we covered more than three duties. Let's go down to the next question. Let's go. Question 2A, 1. As a receptionist at a small firm, your duties include managing and maintaining the reception area. You will see that again with the answer in, this, in the second question. Could you, could, could you want to talk? Yeah. You realize that there are three duties here in this question? Yeah. Yeah. Right? So we have, right. So look. So oh, no. Watch it. Yeah, look, it's right there. Maintaining <laughs> and managing oh. the reception area. Receiving and filing business cards and operating a switchboard. The question now is, state two practices which would assist in keeping the reception area tidy. The question is, how can you keep the reception area tidy? Two points. What do you all think? It's not going to come from in your book. It's, going to, it's something you have to think about. What are two practices in keeping the reception area tidy? Unneeded garbage. Having proper facilities to dispose of garbage. So yeah. one, right, providing providing um convenient locations of garbage garbage bins, perhaps, right? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so one, okay. having garbage bins on site. What else? You fill it. You fill a little dot, garbage, a little tiny. What is called a little that got on the phone I pull the little garbage bin thing that's to be on the ground. Keep in, I don't know what it's called. It. But we just spoke about garbage bins, though, so move away from that point. We already did that point. Right? So one of the practice that Sarvana just 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 and I gave me, one of the correct points there is what? Have a garbage bins easily accessible and on site. So that's one. What else? How else can you keep the reception area tidy? Organize and Throw it on one. I'm hearing something. Babney Chauvin. What's what's the answer there? Organizing important papers. So you're on to something there. So organizing your um organizing important papers and filing it away. Remember, we spoke about when you walk into any place of business, you don't want to see a set of paper or or have a set of files on, on like someone's desk because it, it, it gives us the image that the person is not an organized person, right? Remember that from last day? Yes, miss. Mm -hmm. Yes? Good. So one of the so, so the second answer is is that um important papers or important documents should be filed away. So that's another problem. Or needed. In keeping the, in keeping or the area needed. clean and clean and tidy. Or unneeded, like or unneeded, like that document or stuff get shredded and not shredder to just make more space. If oh, you don't documents need it no longer. Okay, so so then maybe documents that are that that are no longer in use can be discarded. That could be mm -hmm. another point. I just noticed me shoving and um thing only answering first time. What a good observation. Oh boy, but is it coming? This question, I'm going to call somebody to answer this one. This question is for Leandre. Are you online? Is Leandre online? It's around the um, I feel about anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Alicia, are you there? I can't. <laughs> Alicia, are you on? Are you online? I can't answer. She not here. No, not you. You you take a rest. Oh, no. Alicia, are you there? I'm not doing. <laughs> Yes, very good. Alicia, can you tell me, can you answer the other question for me? Let me just read it for you. It is, common, it is common practice for each visitor to the office to leave a business card. What two items of information can be found on a business card? What are two items of information that can be found on a business card? Alicia. Let me tell you, use my hand. Okay. Alice, yeah, what are two items of information that my is hand. found on on anyone's business card? Miss, I could help her. Huh? Yeah. I raise my hand. Oh. I know, I see that, and I'm still ignoring you. You know. Miss, I could raise my hand too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, Jaden has his hand up. Jaden, Edmund, I'd love, I'd love for him to answer this question. Jaden, go ahead. Oh, my God. Jaden, very good. So two, so two pieces of information that can be found on a business card would be the name of the company, one, and two, the contact information of that company. For example, it can have things like their telephone contact, email. their email address, website, right? So any, any pieces of these information would be correct for two marks there. Very and good, Jaden. I'm very proud of you. What's that? Thank you. Yeah, and the address. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so the address would also form part of the contact. Very good. Right? So anything from... The email address, the physical address, um, website, email, fax number, 
all of those would be correct correct answers and also do not forget the name of the company is going to be on on the card as well and on some business card you'll also see um the person who is given given you the card it may have their name and their position in the company yeah agreed yeah yes. marina, cool, huh? marina you there sir let's go cool, huh? Um, I think Marina came off. Yes, you may scroll down. Uh, okay, it's going now. Right, right. Okay, I'm interested to see what you are going to do for this table. So we have, we have some unprofessional uh, phrases there and you have to put the professional ones on the other side of the of the um of the column. I'm interested to hear what you will have to say for this actually. Um for the for A, I have um good day, how may I help you? Very good. So, uh, so instead of hello, hi, you can say good day. Good day. How 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 may I help you? I like that one. I like that what one. What you want? want there. What what you want? No, I want that. I want that. What you want? For what you want? What you want? You know what? For I hear what you say. For pardon, can you please repeat? What is the second answer, guys? So the first answer. How may I help answer. you? Why, why, why do you want? Yeah. Let's just start over, guys. Let's just start over. What would Let's you just start like? Sarvana, I'm talking to her. Sarvana had the answer for the first one. Hello, hi. Your professional response is what? Good day. Good day. How may I help you? No. How I, may I? I don't you. B, I have, how may I help you? Okay. So the first one, instead of saying hello, hi, you have what? Good yeah. day. Good afternoon, good morning. Any of those would, would I mean, fall under professional answers. Got that, guys? Everybody? Okay. B. How may I help? What do you want? Instead of what what I mean, you I may mean, want, you can say, How may I help you? Right? How may I help you? Help you. Next one. I hear what you I say. I hear what you see. <laughs> right. What could you say in place of those words? Pardon, may you repeat, please? Can right. you Pardon me, can you please repeat? Oh, yes, I like that one. Pardon me, can you please repeat? I like that. Um, last one, wait a minute, okay? What, what professional response there can you all give? Hold. Can you please can you please? can you please kindly hold or something? Yes, very good. I like that. So you guys... I like that. I like those answers. Is smart. <laughs> Is everybody okay with all those answers, guys? Yeah. 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 You probably don't So we are looking at B. Two important reminder systems, and we were discussing this just now, and I told you that you will get if you look on page one five three. 
you would see the two reminder system. Look on page 153, you'll see the checklist system and you'll see the diary on page 153. And the question asks you, describe three points, how a tickler system works. Describe three points, how a tickler system works. Miss, I know it's page 153. I don't know. I'm on chapter seven. This is the reception and has oh my page number different from yours. I think so, ma'am. Go my to the reception, go to the reception and hospitality chapter that will be chapter eleven. Go down to chapter eleven, you will see reception and hospitality. When you go down and get when you get to that chapter and you go down on the second to last page, you'll see a heading called reminder systems. Go down to reminder systems and you'll see the answers there. Okay, my son, your page. Yeah, you found it? Okay. So my page number here is one five three. Mine too. So describe three points, how a tickler system works. And Tarvana gave me, and we did a question like this similar previously, and she had given me one of the answers for the tickler system. That's exactly that. I remember what we say in class, so I would like to see that. Sounds... <laughs> so three points on how a tickler system works. One, let's go together. One. Reminder notes or documents are placed using specific dates and months. Reminder notes or documents are placed using specific dates and months. You'll have that first one? Mm -hmm. Write it down to me. Reminder notes or documents are placed behind or placed by specific dates and months. Because, you know, I'm missing some pages from my book. Are you? Yeah, miss. But I have the, the page that you're talking about, right? But some of the pages in my book, they're like, it's missing. Oh, well, we need to sort it out when we, um, when we come back out, right? I'll help you sort it out. Yeah, Ma, yeah. you did do that on my book. I opened my book and I have a two page fallout. <laughs> no, no, like the whole thing is a proper, but I went across the street to get mine. But apparently, some pages. Okay. All right, guys, so back to the question. Right. So, your first, so your first answer that we have, everybody's supposed to have reminder notes or documents, a place using specific dates and months. Second point. Daily checks must be made to determine whether daily checks must be made to determine whether daily checks must be made to determine whether the note or document should be acted upon. Whether the note or document should be acted upon. That's the second point. Is everybody with me? Yeah, yes, the flag yes. and the third point the flag and event before. And your third point is if there has been no reply, the document is passed. If there has been no reply, the document is passed. If there has been no reply. The document is passed. Who read it in the mic? Hard, hard, hard. The document is passed to the responsible party for action. The mm. document is passed yes, to the responsible party for action. A 
I'm going to read back these three points to you all. Make sure you all have them for that answer. Your first answer. Right, I'm going to read it over. Your first answer for that, for that first part of the question. One. Reminder, um, reminder notes or documents are placed using specific dates and months. That's your first point. Reminder notes or documents are placed using specific dates and months. Two, daily checks must be made to determine, daily checks must be made to determine whether the note or document should be acted upon. Whether the note or document should be acted upon. And your third point. If there has been no reply, the document is passed to the responsible party for action. Right. Got it. Good. Great. That's a, that's a three answers. There for three marks. Entirely. Mm -hmm. So the it next was question was basically to fill in this um the something diary page, right? So they gave you the two tasks on the top and you have to fill it in and on our table. You understand that? Mm -hmm. What date do you think goes on that um on that diary there? Twenty second of July. Yeah, so we could go with twenty second July. Yeah, we could go with the date that's that, that is right in the question. We can go with that date as the date for the diary. Mm -hmm. And let's, look at the, and let's look at the timings on this on this diary. We have 0800 is what time? 0800 is what time? On the 12 hour clock. We have 8 o'clock. We have 9 o'clock. We have 10 o'clock. 11 o'clock. 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. Okay. Followed by after 12 o'clock is what? 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock. 2 o'clock. 3 o'clock. 2 o'clock. 3 o'clock. And? Four o'clock. Four o'clock. Got that, guys? Everybody got that? So we have some dates on the AM and we have some dates on the PM, right? And remember, um, on the 12 hour and 24 hour clock, on the 12 hour clock, remember, it, it, it goes up to 12, but the 24 hour mm -hmm. clock obviously goes 24 hours, right? Mm -hmm. So when you get to 12 o'clock on the 24 hour clock, it doesn't start back. It just continue, it, it will continue going. So after 12 would be 13, but according to the 12 hour clock, that will be one o'clock and so on, right? You'll understand that time in there? Mm-hmm. Good. And 12, so I think, and um, 24, I think will be 12. Right. So let's just look at the question, right? Let's not straight. Let's just look at the um, question. The question says, Mr. Jones' visit with Mr. Lake was postponed to Friday, 22nd, July, 2011 at 2 p.m. So where exactly should this note be made on this, on this diary page? 2 p.m. and 2 p.m. Oh, 200. Oh, 200. And which one there represents 2 p.m.? Oh, 2 p.m. Very good, Chavin. Yeah. So 1400 represents, it represents 2 p.m. And what are we writing next to 1400? What is the note that goes there? Friday, 22nd, July, 20. We already have the date. We don't have to put the date. We are remember the diary has the date on the top. I'm asking you. We already have the date. We already have the time. What note goes goes something there now? Mr. Jones visit Mr. Lee. Right. Mr. Jones visit with um or or maybe Mr. Jones has a visit with Mr. Lake. That's it. Mr. Jones has a visit with Mr. Lake. We don't have to say the date. We don't have to say the time because we work out that already. Right? So, so, so by that 1400, all you are writing is Mr. Jones has a visit with I mean, Mr. Lake. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the second one. Pest Be Gone Limited will be returning 8 a.m. to spread a ground floor. 
Where am I writing this note? Next to which time? 0800. 0800. 0800. Very good. So next to 0800, what note am I making there? Guys, oh no. Has be gone limited. Will be, uh -huh. Has be gone limited. Uh huh. Will be. Will be coming to spray the ground floor. Perfect. That's it. So, pass be gone. Pass be gone limited. Will be coming to spray the ground, ground floor. floor. That's it, guys. And that's it for four marks. So just filling out that table. Five four marks. Yep, that's four marks. That's surprising. So that'd be two. <laughs> Scroll down. Yeah, please. Can you go on to the other question? Ah, uh, okay. Make it maybe a little bit smaller so we could see if we could probably. It's kind of large and a little. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's good there, I think. Oh, too small, yeah. too small. Go back, go back. Um, a little bit bigger. Okay, that, that, right. That's fine. And then you'll just have to scroll down first, right? When we, as we move down, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. It is now 2.52. I want to give you all a 15 minutes. So let's say it's 10 to. I'm going to give you a 15 minutes. We are going to be back at 5 after 3. Got that, guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, Mitch. Yeah, so, so yeah, go ahead and take 15 minutes. When you come back, we are working on this question. Those of you who don't need a break, you can start working all the answers for it, okay? I don't think to go outside because Mr. Sagan will abuse me. Me too. Mr. Sagan to report my hair. I'm mad. Uh, for the rest of us, I'm going to give you all 15 minutes and we will come back and we're going to correct this particular, we will we'll correct the balance of the paper. Got it, guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so go ahead and please be back in 15 minutes. Thank you.
I'm back. Class are back. How the class started back. I've been waiting. I've been waiting. Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait, that's not what's happening. How the class started, but yeah.
Has class started back? I don't think so. Basta sana kayo nang umalo ako. Basta kayo lang. Basta sa sima, haroon na mga mga room. As I make si Heidi behind the curses, haroon na mga side. Haroon na mga room, masin na kayo nang umalo. Haroon na kayo nang umalo. Sad lang. Sasa po sa 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 man. Mm-hmm. Our school is a study of the hammock. My plan is to work, right? Hey. How old is this day? Nine? Yeah. Fifteen months. Oh, okay. That means she's a year and a half. Mm-hmm. Yep. Minus five months. <laughs> oh, okay. Hi, guys. You're back? Yeah. Yes, miss. Good, good, good. Now, um, let's take a look at the question here. So, basically, after you read the <clears throat> paragraph there on the top, it's asking you to state four attributes that a receptionist should display at the reception area. So now, so the question is just basically, what are the attributes of a receptionist? Who wants to tackle that one? Attributes of the receptionist. The attributes of the receptionist is to be polite, respectful, and friendly, to very good, full, and to be professional and aware of the importance of the rule. Mm -hmm. So that is one, one good answer. Who wants to give another one? Who else is online here? Let me see. Javon, are you still online? 
Javon, are you still there? No? Okay. So those of us who have our books, let's look on page 150 to 151. I'm seeing somebody with their hands up. Does that person want to answer the question? You can go ahead if the person wants to answer the question. Galaxy A10, you could go ahead and answer the question. Is everybody back from, from, from the break times yeah. yet? No, yeah. I'm not everybody. Yes, I am. Okay. I see by a show of hands. I'm not sure if you all came back from break yeah. or not. Yes, I am. Four people here. Okay, yeah. Okay. Great, 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 great. I'm seeing some hands. Okay, good. Good. Right. So I'm telling you all, we're looking at a textbook. We are looking at the attributes of the receptionist. We're looking at page 150 and 151. You'll get the answers from there. The question is asking you, what are four attributes of the receptionist? Um, Servano gave me um, an answer already. Would anybody else like to answer the question? JL, would you like to answer one? Is 153? Mm -hmm. 150 and 151. Jill, can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Yeah, I'm here. And you're very, lo very low. Can you hear me? Kind of. Not really. Kind of. I could okay. hear Miss Papa. Can you can you answer it? Can you answer Can you answer it for me? Give me one answer at least. One attribute of a receptionist. Hold on. What's the page number again? One fifty. One fifty one. Okay, cool. I could give you one. Sure. Go ahead. A attribute. Mhm. Mm Maintaining the reception register. Miss, can I answer? Yes, sure. And please go ahead. Be professional, aware of the importance of the rule and its importance to the organization. Good. So that is one answer. Very good. You all can take on that, that one. Be professional, be aware of the importance of the rule. And its importance to the organization. That's on page 150. Another important one, be polite, respectful, and friendly at all times. Another important one, be helpful and tactful when responding to inquiries in person or over the telephone. Be calm and patient at all times, even though your visitors may be disrespectful. Your answers start on page 150. Please note the page numbers. You can write up your answers later. Page 150 to page 151. There, you have a lot of points and all the question is asking you is for four points. Let's look at the other part of the question. State the most appropriate filing classification method for each of the following. So remember, we have different classifications of um, recording. We have alphabetical, we have geographical, we have subject, and we have numerical, right? Mm -hmm. So we are going to look at um, the first one. The first one says invoices numbered AB5689 and AJ6000 received for goods bought in February 2013. What filing system can I use there? And some of your answers could be alphabetical, geographical, subject, and numerical. Which one would invoices fall under? Which one of those four classifications? What do you all think? It's made up of both letters and numbers. So that will fall under what? G. Yeah, four 
options are alphabetical, geographical, subject, and numerical. I hope you are writing this down somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. Geographical. Which one? Geographical means what? The names of places, not so? Yeah. yeah that's why I stopped. That's why I stopped. <laughs> right. So, so no, geographical subject? will not be an answer there. We are thinking, what does the word numerical mean? Something made up of what? Only what? Numbers. 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 Also, it's subject? alphabetical and numerical. So, it's, well, I, but I, it has alphabetical, it has numerical, it has geographical, and it has subject. Which Sub one do you think invoices will fall under? Numerical. But it has A, B, and A, J. Are those things numbers? Is that alphabetical? Right. Because alphabetical systems would, that would a, a classification under alphabetical will be alphanumeric, which would be both letters and numbers. numbers. Got that, guys? Yeah. yeah. So alphabetical would be, would be, it has a classification under there called alphanumeric. In fact, if you look at page 114 of your textbook, when we did records and management, if you look on page 114, those of you who have your textbook on hand, you will see the different classifications that we have there. So one of so, so one of the answers for that first one, yes, um, the answer alphabetical would be correct there. Okay. Yeah. Ah. All right. Next one, we have a letter dated on the 16th of Feb. It is to be put in a specific file for a person called Lucy Brown. What exactly would we use there? Numerical. Before you're saying numerical because it's a date, right? Okay, well, if you're saying according to date, numerical, but but I mean, what else? It, it could have another answer there besides that. What else? You're putting Geograph it under a specific person. No, oh, no, no. It has no, no places there. It has a person's name. Though. Very good. So for that second one, we could do one of two things. We we can either use numerical because we see a date, mm -hmm. or we could say file it under Lucy Brown, which would be under subject. So either or could be the answer for that one there. Mm -hmm. Next one, a collection of CD. Jazz, hip hop, reggae, rock. What um, can we use there? Alphabetical? No. Yeah, kind of. Alphabetical. Yeah, alphabetical. you could, if you want, it could be alphabetical, or it could be filed under... G Geographical. Subject. No, jazz is not country. Hip hop is not subject. Uh, right. Oh, so subject. Yeah, right. I, so it can I either be hard. it can either be alphabetical or it could be under subject. Very good, Shavin. Yeah. A set of bills according to dates. Oh. Which one will be dates? Anything with oh. dates would fall under alphabetical, alphabetical because alphabetical is made up of both yeah letters and numbers. numbers. So we could go with alphabetical for that one. Yes, miss. Next one. Last one. Application form for delegates from various islands in the Caribbean attending a conference in Jamaica. Geographical. What, what filing? Very good. We can use geographical there because we see the word Jamaica. Jamaica. <laughs> yep, that's correct. And that's it for five months. The only one that's geographical. <sighs> right. Um, can you scroll down? Yeah. Thank you. I think I saw too much. Yeah. That? Um, yeah, that, but maybe a little bit across so we could see the right into the edge of the screen. Can you all see that? Okay, I can see it now. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. Using yeah, the form provided, I think I did a, there's a form on the other page. Complete the following reception register for the following. So we have three dates to be filled out so i think if you scroll down we would see a form scroll down yeah on the other page there's a there's a form for reception register and what i would work. like you all right go down go down more go okay. down to the beginning and to the, to the top of it right it's it's something landscape right what i would what i want you all to do in your books right now is to draw this table for me quickly. Um, I'll make it small so they will see us. Go down, um, go down, no. Um, I don't know if you make it smaller, they'd be able to see the entire thing. Try and see. 
Uh, I can see now. Okay, I'm gonna go up one. Scroll little. down. Yes, no, too much. Okay. All right, guys. So your first column. So direct landscape in your book as well, so you have enough space, right? First one will be date. So your first one is date. Your second column, name of visitor. Your third column, visitors company. Your third column, address. Fourth column, Fourth, column address. Arrival time. Fifth referred to. And I think you have a sixth one. Yeah. Departure time, yeah. So please drop this quickly in your box and let's start a fun. Again, this is just to fill out the information. Um, it's tr I think it's it's three entries that we have to do on the total for this is three marks. So one mark per correct response. So please drop your table quickly and let's do this question. I don't have freehand because it's easy. Are you hearing me, miss? Yes, I'm hearing you. Who is this? This is Javon. Javon? Mm-hmm. Oh, it was on. It was on mute. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, on mute. I can I can hear you now though. All right. I already drew the table already. Okay, nice. So you hold on to your answers. Let me just give everybody a two minutes just to just to um draw up the table so we can do it together. Yeah, no we have the paper. We have to draw it too. I'm going off, right? No, no, no. Those of you who have the paper could just write it on the paper. This is only if you don't have the paper. You can, you, you can draw it up in your box. But if you have the paper, just go ahead and try to fill out the answers. Does anyone call creating that? All right. Um Everybody know what you're trying to sing, right? Those of you who are drawing the table, Natanya was asking your question. Please raise your hand so he would know if to move on to the rest of the table for you. You already move on to the rest of it, but okay, guess that they don't want to eat only. No problem. All right, that's that is the whole thing. That is just after the and that is the whole thing. Okay. So, but let me open my window, Mr. Carl. So under date, for those of us who already brought the table, under date, you're going to fill out. What's wrong with you? Let's see. It says use today's date on the form, right? So you're going to fill out. So under the date, so under date, you could just fill out today's date under the date column. 18th March, 2020. That's the date today, so fill in, fill in that. Put in this date? Huh? Put in this date? I just opened the moment. You're writing on your, on your paper or you, or you draw it out? I draw it out. Okay, so on the date, you are to use today's date. So just okay, fill in okay. today's date, any format you want, just fill in today's date. Alright. And when you're finished, I want you to scroll back up to the question so we can see the question to start filling it out because we'll have it drawn up already. So we're just gonna start filling it out, right? Yeah, I'm gonna make it all big on all because mm -hmm. that's all. Yeah. So it will be the same one date for everybody, right? Yeah. It will be the same one date for everybody because the question on the top tells you use yeah, right where you where you are with the arrow, it said use the date's date on the form. Uh -huh. So if you look at your second column, your second column is a name of a visitor. Who is the visitor there? Mr. D. French. So Mr. D. French. So name of visitor, you are going to put Mr. D. French. Everybody has that? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Can I move forward? Okay. Yeah. What is the name of the visitor's company? Leva, Leva Brothers. That one is Leva. Leva, Leva, Leva oh, Brothers. Okay. 
<laughs> right, so under visitors company, it's Lever Brothers. Very good. Love so that it. goes under the, your next column. Visitors um, company, Lever Brothers. What's the address of Lever Brothers? Porter Spain. Porter Spain. Very good. Oh, Somebody's baby. saying it. Oh, right, Porter Spain, Trinidad and yeah, Tobago. Baby. So that goes under the address column. Porter Spain, Trinidad and Tobago. What is his arrival time? You guys write down this. Arrival time ten. His arrival time. Very good. I'm hearing somebody saying his arrival 30. time is nine. Nine. Oh, wait. Oh. A.M. His arrival time is nine forty a.m. His departure time is ten thirty a.m. I have this one. Think to look at this. And. Who, so we have the arrival, we have the departure. There's a column you all have referred to. Who is Mr. D. French being referred to? The office manager. Very good, office manager. So that's your first answer, very good. Is everybody okay with that first one? Everybody fill in information in all of the columns? Yes? Yes, miss. Yes, miss. Okay, good. We're going on to the second person, and again, we're using back today's date again for the, for the second person. So let's go. Who is the name of visitor here? Mr. A. Amos. Mr. A. Amos, right? Yeah. So that's the visitor there, Mr. A. Amos. What company is he from? He must be because. Amos Bakers, that's his company, Amos Bakers. What is the address of Amos Bakers? 2 Frederick Street, Trinidad, Tobago. Good, so under address, it's 2 Frederick Street, Trinidad and Tobago. We have that. What is his arrival time? 10.45. 10.45 a.m. Very good, his arrival time is 10.45 a.m. Who is he being referred to? Very good. The purchasing manager. So referred to purchasing manager. The meeting lasted for 25 minutes. What is his departure time, guys? It starts, the meeting starts at 10.45. It lasted for 25 minutes. 11, 11, 15. Think again. Do you once again. 11 what? 11, 11, 11, 10. 11, 10. I said first, aha. Did we, did we agree on a time? Yeah. Seven yeah. times. Right. So he is meeting, with a, so his departure time would be 11.10 a.m. Right, 11.10 a.m. Let's look at the last person. Again, Use today's date in the date column. I thought that one already. <laughs> right. Name of visitor. Who's the visitor here? Mrs. P. Charles. Mrs. P. Charles. Good, yes. Mrs. P. Charles is the visitor. What company is P. Charles from? Henwood Coal Limited. That is short for company, right? So Henwood mm -hmm. Company Limited. Where is that company located? Mar 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 I, I was going to say Maracas. Maracas Avenue, Trinidad and Tobago. He's a Maracas too. It's Ma Maracas, right? Yeah, that is correct. That is correct. I say Maracas. So it's, so, it's, so it's Marcus <laughs> Avenue. Yeah, Marcus Avenue, Trinidad and Tobago. That's the address. What's the arrival time for that 1 person? 1.30 p.m. 1.30 p.m. 1.30 p.m. is the person's arrival time. Who is the person referred to? Marketing, Marketing manager. Marketing manager. manager. Good. Marketing manager. Um, 
um was a departure she left the office at 7 40 um she left the office 75 minutes later so the person came in at 1 30 2 45 miss didn't even think do huh miss didn't even ask miss didn't even finish at the question he said 245 seven is correct seven is correct yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, the person Seven, is at one thirty, so the person is leaving at two forty-five p.m. Make sure I note right. She two forty-five p.m. She might have an answer. She might have an answer. <laughs> no, because I see it first. <laughs> Already tell they are buying you something special. You don't have to fight. We hear yourself. Right. <laughs> Feel nice, huh? Nathaniel, no, that's mad because he may get nothing. <laughs> no, 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 ma. Right. Okay, moving on. Um, Natanya, as soon as you're ready, yeah, you'll move down for us on the other page. Yeah, that one. Right. Okay. Three desirable attributes of a receptionist. I think we did this in one of the previous questions. Yes, miss. What are some... What are some desirable attributes? You can tell me quickly. What are some desirable attributes of a receptionist? Be calm, be professional, be neat and a Yes. Yeah. Be calm and patient at all times, even though visitors may be disrespectful. That's one good point. Another good point we said was to be what? Polite, respectful, and friendly to all persons at all times. Be professional, That's aware of answer. the importance of... The rule and its importance to the organization. I have them a book. I'm going to write that up. Very good. Yes, that is also correct. And another point we, re we spoke about earlier was to be helpful and tactful when responding to inquiries mm -hmm. in person or over the telephone. So it's the same answer as we would have used before. So you see how to repeat the um, mm -hmm. questions, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Let's look at the other one. Two guidelines that a receptionist should follow when taking telephone messages. What sh should you do when taking a telephone message? Without even reading it anyway, what do you think? Two guidelines for taking. Be calm and tactful. Be calm and tactful. Be calm and tactful, okay. Always put who the message is for. Okay, things like that, yes. So, so be calm and tactful, be professional, um, take down who the message is for, yes. <coughs> right, I, so let us, oh, let's look at the other one. I, I like these kind of questions. What? Assume that you are familiar receptionist at the office was indicated at the time to the future because the following situation. Uh, and the customer calls to report that the photocopying might be what she put. Assume you are Maya, you are a receptionist, mm -hmm. and you are dealing with okay. the following situation. A. An angry customer calls to report that the photocopy machine that she purchased recently from your company is faulty. You are the receptionist. You are dealing with, a, with an angry customer who is reporting that the machine that they bought from you is not working. How would you handle that call? Is the question. Oh, so, oh am I what right? Be, so, how, what is your professional opinion? How would you deal with this call? I'll tell the customer to bring back the um the device and we will see what's wrong with it. And well, if it's not think working, about we will it. just think about, it. Okay, I want you to think about something. When you call the cable company or you call mm -hmm. the internet company, what is the first thing they they say? Is it the first thing bring it bring it back? No. no. Well, Miss, they just try so, to have their face. Exactly. Exactly. So in the case of an angry customer, one of the possible things you can do is offer help so you can try to help the customer over the phone troubleshoot the photocopier. So one possible answer is offer help 
or two, let's say you don't know how to help or maybe what you are trying to tell the customer to do is not working. The second thing you can do is refer the caller to someone else who might be able to help them. So either offer help or refer the caller to someone else who can help. Help them. Are you okay with that? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. ma'am. Let's move on to the second one. Let's see. Human resource manager wants to get in contact with a client immediately. He gives you, who, right, so you are the receptionist. He gives you the client's number to dial. When you dial the number, you keep getting a busy signal or a busy tool. What should you do in a case like that? You call the, you, you call the person, their phone is busy. What would be the next logical thing to do? Report to the humans manager. Tell the human manager. So two things. Human so, so two, two correct big. answers I'm hearing here. One, you can inform the human resource manager of the busy signal. That's one answer, right? Nathaniel, give me that one. So you could you could inform the manager of the busy signal. That's one. And if I call somebody's phone and somebody's phone is busy, the easiest thing for me to do is wait and, and wait and, and I may make the call again. So that's another possible solution. Wait mm -hmm. and make the call again. So you will leave a message? Yeah, if you well, get a busy, but if you get a busy two on chances are you wouldn't get a voicemail coming on. The only how you'll get a voicemail coming on is if what? If the phone rings off, right? Mm -hmm. Really, miss? Yeah. I thought somebody's wrong. If, it's if, if, you call, if you call somebody, <laughs> listen, guys. Um, no, you wouldn't do things like call me request something, right? I, know, I thought somebody was wrong. Say that. <laughs> yeah, phone and the phone is busy. You do not get the option to leave a voicemail yeah. for them, right? So the easiest thing to do is either inform the manager of the busy signal or the person's phone is busy, you give them a couple of minutes and you try the call again. So you wait and try the call again. Okay. Next one. A message was left at your desk to call a travel agency to confirm your supervisor's flight. You accidentally dial the wrong number. What do you do? So if you misdial a number, what do you do? Tell them, sorry, I have the wrong number. Tell them you missed it. Yes. So that is oh, one correct, that is one correct answer there. So one correct answer is you can just say I'm sorry, I'm we got to make it like you well, yeah, yeah, apologize properly. Yes, yes, you have to apologize. Yes. So one answer. So let's put that into a sentence. So one answer there would be um politely inform the caller of the fact. Politely inform the caller of the fact. And apologize. Politely inform the caller of the fact and apologize. They don't just hang up the mm -hmm. phone, right? So politely inform the caller of the fact and apologize. Or oh, another thing that I mean, people do sometimes when they ask for for a an, an person, you can verify the, if if the number you have correct. is correct, right? You can verify if the phone number is correct. correct. Yep. Let's look at the other one. You call to make hotel reservations at Caribbean Spa Resort for your manager. You hear a pre-recorded message. What do you do? You inform the um, manager. Okay. 
So one, you can inform, okay, maybe you can inform the manager that you're not getting through or two, you could probably what? Try to call at a later time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even if you choose, listen, even if you choose to leave a message, you should still follow up with a phone call because a lot of people have to follow up when they leave voice voicemails not so yeah 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 because remember if you leave a voice note or you leave a voicemail it may not be treated as something that is urgent right but if you need to confirm it as soon as possible you can choose to call back at a different time Let's see if you get on to somebody right mm -hmm. yep yep Sharon, i love that you're responding on the group and everybody else. What about me, miss? Uh, I just said, and everybody else. <laughs> I didn't hear my name. So, oh. I find a tiny little I talk, I, I, I answer too much. Huh? I answer about yeah, 10. Yeah, about 20. Mm -hmm. So how yeah. about if we answer another one? Scroll down. Okay. <laughs> No. State four ways in which a receptionist can maintain positive what, interpersonal what, what? relationships. Right. Yeah, I think there are two more ways. I said two more ways. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Who can answer that one? Or you want a, a two minutes to, um, to think about it? It's always. It's always. It's positive. It's a personal relationship. It's not organized. Respectful. I'm receiving and filing business cards. Be respectful. So, four ways in which a receptionist can maintain positive interpersonal relationships. So, interpersonal means the relationship between the organization and the public. So, one answer would be to be professional. Be right, be professional, aware of the importance of the role and its importance to the organization. That is one. Be respectful. Two, you yes. just need to answer. And do not gossip. Be polite. Second one, be polite, respectful, and friendly at all times. Another point, be neat and properly attired. Right, be, be neat and properly when, attired. That's another point you all can work with. Be helpful while, when responding to inquiries in person or over the phone. Yes, be helpful and tactful when re responding to inquiries in person or over the telephone. And another nice one is um, you also have to be well informed about the organization. So you have to know the goals of the organization, what products might be the organization, what products the, um, the organization might be um, the offering and, and, and so on. Keep the organization, sure. it's already here. What's that? Keep the organization, it's already here. Keep the organization. Yeah, we just, we just said that, yeah. Oh. Be neat and, be, and always be properly attired. We oh. already gave that answer. It's not a fire and open my window, boy. Yeah. So basically, you realize in this question what they really asked you here, even though they worded like that, what they really asked you in this question was what? You know what are the attributes? Very good. Very mm. good. This question is really asking you for the attributes of the receptionist. That is what it really boils down to in this question. Okay. Yeah. Nice last question. Yes. Panama? No. 
Pô, era um negócio. Certo, não Mas, what, I just... what page? What page is can be from? It's on 150 and 151. Uh... Remember, this entire worksheet is based on a particular chapter. This came from the chapter called Reception and Hospitality. So all the answers for this particular worksheet would have been found in that handout for reception and hospitality. And it's one of the chapters. In the Is this homework? I know. Chapter, chapter number 11. Miss, what page are these questions on? It's in homework, I know. In the, um, in the um, drive? Yeah, possibly. It was also shared on the group. It was, I, I know for a fact it was shared in the group last week, Wednesday. I really bored, I know. I don't even feel into what you do videos. I surprise my people. Yeah. yeah. Dominique was on the bed last. Dominique was on the bed last. <laughs> That's Leandre and Dominique. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. The bed. Uh, I clean up the house today for some hours. What bad we do? Okay. Oh, okay. As no, it's a bad thing, bro. I said, right. So, what I want you guys to read up on for me next day is um travel arrangements. I can't do that now because I do it. Okay, do you all know what page that can be found on? Travel arrangements. No. It's on it's on <laughs> chapter 13. Chapter 13. Yeah, chapter 13. What page? You all found it? You all taking a look at it? Yes, what page page is page on? 175. Okay. Page, yeah, page 175. Yeah, I can't do that. No, no, no. This class done, man? No. Oh, uh -huh. uh, I was going to see. Yes, but aren't we already read We did, but remember, that was the day when the, the whole, um, where the whole virus thing came out and we didn't have much of an attendance. Chinese yeah. virus, too, thingy, thingy. Yeah. So, um, for the benefit of everybody, I will, I will go back through this chapter. Yes, yeah, some of you did it already with me, but we will just go to this chapter again, chapter number thirteen. On this text is gonna be delayed. I can't. Oh, I see. Say. We'll have to wait. Uh, we don't know. We'll have to wait and um, listen, stay tuned to the news and whatnot um, to find out Ready? if those things are happening. In Google, I will. Hold on, my mommy calling, man. It's just wicked, it's a CX, you know, they don't know for getting virtual classes in a lot of schools. I mean, it have more cases of corona, so... In Trinidad, they say seven. Yeah, it have seven, yeah. More than seven? It doesn't matter if CX is so good, no one people are using it. Well, it probably have more by now, miss. My mother, my mother just okay. No, my mother just said the prime minister was talking today and said they might postpone. They might postpone the exit. They're not sure. So, yeah, they're um, not sure as yet. October. It's just it's a bit too it's a bit too early. And I know there was a press from, from Tokyo. The school they're talking about coronavirus. <laughs> Okay, guys. So that so that would have completed our last two worksheets, right? Yes. 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 And our please next talk. chapter for next day will be travel arrangements, right? So you all please read up ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next, next week yeah. Wednesday, same time, online? Yes, yes. This is the okay. one with the time zones and everything, right? That's right, yeah. yeah. It's on page number 175 on chapter 13. So you all can read up yeah. ahead of time. Yeah. Chapter okay. 13, travel arrangements, 175. Okay. Okay. My uncle tell my mommy how it has 67 cases. I want you to stop seeing those things. In this country? In this country? <laughs> I hear this one. I'll say the government lie. I have plenty more. Okay, guys, I, I that's it. Oh. That's it. I'm coming off the recording. <laughs> Please exit from the chat. Everybody. Right, bye, bye. Bye.
Bye. Bye, Miss. Bye. Hey guys, take care. See you right out. Bye, bye man. Bye. See you guys again next day. Take care. Bye bye. 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 You just prayed. <laughs> this man really is sending off a buzz now. Yes, it's not. <laughs> guys, please end and you'll chat afterwards. Okay, I thought it was right. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. -bye.